Okay, my name is Memo Risachi Konye. I'm the coordinator for the UK Community Advisory Board, UK CAB in short, which is a project within iBase. The UK CAB is a network of HIV treatment advocates from across the UK, and it currently has nearly 500 members from 100, over 120 organizations. So I've been living with HIV for just over 10 years, so I'm still a baby. I just thought it was a uh, no proper flu, because I'm in Zimbabwe in December, it's mid-summer, and you come here, it's sub-zero. So after trying all the over-the-counter medicines, I didn't get any better. And my aunt, who had just got married, uh, it was a nurse then, she's now retired. She just suggested that I go for an HIV test. So 24 hours later, I went back to the gum clinic for my test result. I was called into some room. I can't even remember if it was a nurse or a counselor. You know, it's all very vague. And I remember sitting down. She, I mean, the person muttered something. I didn't listen. But, <laughs> but I did hear the bit that you're HIV positive. And of course, my life just changed in those few seconds, you know. In Zimbabwe, there was a lot of stigma around, around AIDS. And anyone with AIDS was of a certain character. And it was just, there was no, I mean, there was no support network for anything. And everyone who had AIDS had, I mean, who, who was dying of AIDS, he had people talking about them behind their back. And it's almost like something not right with you or you are, person of loose morals. If you don't get tested, you, would, you, you won't know. I didn't know. If I had known earlier, I probably would have been tested while I was still in Zimbabwe and probably had sort of done something about it. I was a late presenter in, I mean, by, by, by any standard, and I, I wish I had known earlier. What I do now, if I speak to my mother or anyone in Zimbabwe and they tell me so and so is not well, my first thing is let them go and get tested. And my mother kind of knows my mantra. Anyone I speak to, go and get tested, just find out how you are or what is it that you're doing. I get calls, emails from friends and family back, I mean from all over the world, people who know where to find me, asking me whether they are concerned about their health or whether they've just been tested and how, they, how, how, they, how, how, how could they manage to live their lives normally once they get their tests. So I'm sort of supporting other people in that way, but I always tell people there's no other way. If you feel unwell or if you think you might be at risk, just get tested. And I actually tell some people bluntly that if you have had sex with no condom, you're at risk.